Good morning. Well, I am back in full self-drive again. Currently is not driving. However, uh, on today is Tuesday, and on Friday of last week, I went uh, out to dinner. And on the way there, I did in fact partially use FSD just because I am a beta tester and I try to drive as much as I can as long as it doesn't interfere with others and use, use the software so they can get more data. Well, I came out of the restaurant and I was going to use full soft drive on the way home and I got the message, cruise control not available cruise control not available so it turned out that um, I tried everything that I knew of to try I rebooted the computer which you do by holding your foot on the brake and you press these two scroll wheels and you hold that until the Tesla it, the screen goes blank, it reboots the computer, the Tesla logo comes off, up, and you can let go of the buttons. I tried that, nothing worked. I scheduled service via the app, and they were going to do mobile service tomorrow between 7.30 a.m. and 12 o'clock p.m., I guess. And um, they contacted me via text, uh, well, notification on the app via text uh, telling me to, uh, they couldn't find, I need, they needed more information. So I basically gave them the whole scenario that they just told you. I gave them a copy of the error codes and uh, error code, which is cruise control not available. And uh, they later told me that uh, in a text that their uh, the next day, which was yesterday, and they told me that it is a bug in the software, and that other people are experiencing the same thing, and they're waiting for a new release. Actually, they called it firmware. So I clarified with them and I said, are you talking about 10.69 3.1 as the firmware when I call it software? And they said, yes. Well, then I thought they were blowing smoke up my ass. So what I did is I asked them to please resend that download of the software to my car, which they did. And I installed it. I went and I drove the car and lo and behold, it did not work. I still got the same error message, cruise control not available. So I was really very dejected and I thought that they really were using it as retaliation because I had posted a number of videos that had, had in fact shown that when you are number one at a trap, at two, two different traffic lights for me, I haven't tried others. Uh, if you're number one and you're making a left hand turn, it's driving and it's navigating, wants to make a left. You're number one, the light is red, it stops for the red light, but then it proceeds and wants to make the left hand turn. Of course, I don't let it, but at the same time, it's like it's turning right on red it thinks it can turn left on red and I know that it does it only in two intersections and I really thought it was retaliation well I went on to the forums which I don't normally do I go to a couple but I went on to Tesla forums and I did find that yes a number of people were experiencing the same issue and I had already put my car to, uh, to into deep sleep, which there's a button under, I think, service or safety, and, it, and it, put, it says power off, and basically you press that button and it goes to sleep. And if you touch the brake or touch the thing again, it comes back to life. 
So, when I went on the forums, other people said that they had tried that autopilot will not engage if, in fact, a door is open, or at least the car thinks it's open. So, I had already let the car sleep for probably 30 minutes when I found this article, and um, in that 30 minutes uh, of research, I came back out, I opened the car, I opened every door, I opened the front, I opened the trunk, I closed them all, I went out to drive, and lo and behold, I had full self-drive again, autopilot, and uh, cruise control was available. And right now, it is in fact driving. So, I don't know really, obviously there is a bug in here, and perhaps the bug is related to um, if the car is in a certain circumstance and the door is open and then the door is shut, it may not, in fact, realize the door is shut and gives, uh, lets the software think that, no, I can't go into cruise control because that door is open, although you did get no notification that there is um, anything open. So, uh, unfortunately, today, Let's see, we'll try to navigate here um, if we can. Okay, this is the scenario here. And we're going to see if it wants to keep. See these lights think they're flashing. And it wants to go ahead. And I'm not going ahead even though the road is closed there and that light. So that is an issue. But we'll do a little bit of full self-drive. And this is version 10.69 3.1. And we know that there is at least one. Oh, this is my destination. i got to cancel that. My bad. Um, we know there is, is at least one bug in the two bugs in this software and one bug is that all of a sudden cruise control can become unavailable and in every circumstance at least on the form is they drove using cruise control uh, shut the car off or got out of the car went someplace did something else got back in the car and then cruise control wasn't available. It's not like it failed in the middle or there's a software glitch that causes it in the, in the middle of it driving to do this. Um, but uh, hopefully it will not happen again, but if it does, I will attempt then to again, again open all the doors, all the front to power it down and see if that resolves the problem resolves the issue. I thank the forums for uh, at least some people posting the results that they've had. Uh, a lot of people posted that they could just power it down and it came back alive. Um, I, that did not work for me because I, I had powered it down on Friday night and Saturday it didn't work at all. I'm going to make a left-hand turn here. I'm going to let it try to make a left-hand turn. We'll see if it does it at this turn also. Oh, well, unfortunately, it, um, the light changed. But version 10.61.3.1 is so human-like and smooth, other than the bugs, which are serious bugs to me. Uh, I think it handles extremely well. Again, we're at our destination, so sorry about that. 